I'm Professor Philip Munday from the ARC Centre of Excellence for Coral Reef Studies at James Cook University in Australia. My lab studies the effects of ocean acidification on marine ecosystems. We're particularly interested in the ecological effects of ocean acidification and the capacity for species to adapt. So ocean acidification is caused by the uptake of additional carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and this extra CO2 comes from human activities such as uh, burning fossil fuels and cement production. And when that extra carbon dioxide goes into the ocean it causes a fundamental change in the ocean chemistry. As the content of CO2 goes up the pH of the ocean goes down and that's why we call it ocean acidification and there's also a change in the availability of carbonate ions which are the things that calcifying species need to actually form their shells and skeletons. Research into the biological effects of ocean acidification is a relatively new field. The initial studies in this field really focused on short-term physiological responses in individual species. But what we really need to know now is the, about the ecological effects of ocean acidification. For example, how predator-prey interactions or competitive interactions between species might be affected. And we also need to assess the ability of marine species to be able to acclimate or adapt to ocean acidification, particularly because they'll be faced with the dual threats of acidification and warming. And that's what this issue is all about. So I think one of the really important things about the papers in this special feature is that they show that there can be a remarkable amount of variation in the sensitivity of marine organisms to ocean acidification. So some species are more tolerant to ocean acidification than others and also it seems that there's a lot of variation in sensitivity and tolerance among populations of the same species living in different environments. And that's really something that came across in a lot of the papers, just how much variation within and among species there is in either the sensitivity and tolerance to ocean acidification and their ability to adapt in the future. I think readers should take from the feature uh, that ocean acidification will fundamentally alter marine ecosystems. But species differ in their tolerance to ocean acidification and some species will be able to adapt. What we really need to know now is how the ecological processes that drive marine ecosystems will be affected by ocean acidification and try and assess which species can adapt. By understanding these things we really can understand the impacts of ocean acidification in our future oceans. I think the sort of things we're going to be looking at from now on are how the environment that the animal lives in, what sort of pH and CO2 environment that it lives in, how does that actually affect their sensitivity to ocean acidification and their ability to adapt. So I think matching the environment that the animal lives in with predictions about the future ocean are going to be critical and they're the sorts of things we're working on right now.